All right, it's so quiet in here, people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, all right. Uh, my name is Dr. Byron Cliff Breland, and I proudly serve as the president of San Jose City College. I want to welcome everybody uh, to our Community Arts and Lecture Series. Uh, and I'm happy to see a lot of our students here, uh, and people will just sort of be trickling in uh, into the back and uh, make yourself comfortable. Uh, and we're going to be uh, certainly delighted in terms of the presentation that we have today. Um, and I also want to say, uh, you know, really uh, in welcoming to our Arts and Lecture Series, we're excited uh, to have with us today uh, an author, an educator, a lecturer, uh, and really just an all-around good humanitarian that I've had the pleasure of following. And I actually, the last time I've heard Mr. Tim Wise speak, uh, I was in graduate school uh, back in the early 2000s, uh, and I'm proud to know that he's still doing the work that he does uh, in appearing uh, and being a commentator uh, and really uh, a great lecture. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, you know, I really just want to add that San Jose City College and being one of the oldest institutions of higher education here in the state of California, uh, we opened our doors in 1921 and we've really been at the hub of arts and intellectual curiosity for almost 100 years now. And having had a series of diverse performers who've actually come to our college over that time period and really back in the 60s, uh, we've had folks such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, uh, the Japanese Mandarin Orchestra, and Dizzy Gillespie uh, all come uh, to our campus uh, and perform. And so we're very proud of that tradition. Uh, and back in 1999, under the leadership of Professor Marilee Shelton and on a shoestring budget, uh, we continued that strong lineup of speakers and performers ranging from almost every sitting mayor in the city, uh, two, pro two programs from the Obama White House administration, uh, and Grammy Award musicians here at San Jose City College. Uh, and, and before I move on, I want to acknowledge uh, uh, Jason Atkins. Jason, where are you? Uh, he's been our coordinator of our community arts lecture series. Let's give him a round of applause. And I also want to thank uh, our technology and sound crew that we have here at the college who've set up really this nice environment in the gym. So let's give them a round of applause. This takes a lot of work. So I want to mention at the conclusion of today's lecture, uh, there'll be an opportunity for folks to ask Mr. Tim Wise uh, some questions uh, about the presentation or, or anything. I know he can field any question, and he was going to spur some of that intellectual curiosity within you today. So let's not be shy. There are microphones that are already set up. We're asking you just to go to the microphone and line up at the end of the presentation, and there'll be a Q&A session for about 15 or 20 minutes. And at the conclusion of that, uh, Mr. Tim Wise will be available uh, to book sign. Uh, you can purchase a book, get that book signed, or if you already have a copy of a book or something he's already written or done uh, over the last uh, decades, several decades of his career, uh, he'd be happy to discuss any of those items or sign it for you as well. Uh, so let's, let's be ready to do that at the end of the presentation. Uh, and now to provide the formal introduction of today's speaker, I want to introduce uh, instructor of ethnic studies here at, at San Jose City College who also serves as our president of our College Academic Senate. Uh, please join me in welcoming uh, Professor Jesus Covarrubias. Hey, San Jose City College, familia, how are we doing today? All right. Um, you know, President Breland, you mentioned um, all the great speakers and folks, and I can think of no better venue than the San Jose City College Jaguar Gym to host our speaker today, a place where once upon a time, once upon a time, Cesar Chavez spoke right here in this gym about issues related to civil rights and human rights. And uh, here we are to, take, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, hear from, um, you know, Tim Wise, who you're gonna, you're gonna be really, really pleased to hear from. And um, as, a, as a faculty member and, and a representative of our academic senate, we know our faculty here at City really encourage in, uh, uh, our students to think critically and to engage in critical questions within, within ethnic studies. Our, our whole department engages students to think critically and ask what we call courageous questions and to have what we call courageous conversations about racism, about sexism, about homophobia. And those are questions that are very challenging for many of us in this country to engage in. Um, why do the majority of black and brown people seem to be getting a raw deal often in America? Why is that? 
Why is it so difficult for many people to talk about racism and racial inequality when we know racial inequality exists? Well, I can think of no better person to welcome into our campus community to help us engage in a courageous conversation, uh, which I would argue is something desperately needed now more than ever. Would you agree? So he has a very long bio. I was given license to edit and condense. I uh, hope I do it justice. Tim Wise, I, I first started reading his work uh, back in, in my college days. Many of my colleagues that teach here I know are, have also been influenced by uh, his writings, his speeches, uh, the provocative nature of his, the way he engages us in a very open and transparent and intellectually honest way. Uh, Tim Wise is one of the most prominent, self-described anti-racist activists and educators in the United States. He has spent the past 25 years speaking to audiences in all 50 states, over 1,000 colleges and high school campuses. He just gave me a rundown. He's zipping around the country uh, these days. I don't know how he does it, but uh, he has lectured internationally in Canada and Bermuda. Uh, he's the author of seven books. Um, including the critically acclaimed White Like Me, Reflections on Race from a Privileged Son. Um, he has been an outspoken advocate for racial equality and affirmative action. Um, he was named one of the 25 visionaries who are changing our world by the Utni Reader. Uh, he has contributed chapters to over 25 additional books and writings are taught in colleges and universities across this country. Um, Tim Wise has been featured in several documentaries, including the 2013 Media Education Foundation release, White Like Me, uh, Race, Racism, and White Privilege in America. The film he co-wrote and co-produced has been called, quote, a phenomenal educational tool in the struggle against racism. Um, Tim Wise has, uh, uh, appears regularly on national television, CNN, MSNBC. Uh, in 2007, he was featured on a segment on 2020 um, Tim Wise <clears throat> fought David Duke as a college student. He could tell you about it. He's a graduate of Tulane University. In 1990, he received anti-racism training from the People's Institute for Survival and Beyond in, uh, in New Orleans. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please help me give a, a warm San Jose City College Jaguar welcome to Tim Wise. <laughs> 